This is a video number eight from digital-university.org in our series of electrical circuit analysis. Um, in this video, we're just going to look at a very simple um, direct current circuit. And here it is. And what we want to determine is what is the source current that leaves the battery And what is the voltage drop across this 6 ohm resistor? So clearly, this 6 ohm resistor is in series with this 4 ohm resistor. So if we can draw this simply by replacing it with a 10 ohm resistor. And the battery is here. In this part of that circuit, we leave as is. So, here's a simple task to find the equivalent resistance to these two parallel resistors. And again, it's their product 10 times 2 is 20 divided by the sum, which is 12. So the equivalent resistance is 20 over 12 ohms, and that's equal to 5 over 3 ohms, 1 or 2 thirds ohms equivalent resistance. So the source current that comes out of the battery now That's equal to the voltage of the battery divided by the equivalent resistance. So that would be equal to 8 divided by 5 thirds of 8 times 3 over 5. And that is equal to 24 fifths. So the source current is 24 over 5 amps. Now, we you know that, what is the currency that goes? here to this equivalent resistance of 4 ohm and the 10 ohm resistor. So if we look at this and we can say, well, we know that these two resistors are in parallel with, the, with each other, so the voltage drop across them is the same, and what's more, they have to be equivalent to the voltage drop of the source. So if the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor is 8 volts. What's the current that goes through it? You can say, well, I, the 10 ohm resistor, would be 8, I plus D over R, so that would be 8 over 10, so that is 8 tenths amps. Also, let's just take a moment and say, well, let's determine this by using the voltage divider principle because we know how much current is going into the circuit from the battery. We know what that value is. So we know how much current is coming into these two parallel resistors. So if we use the current divider principle, then we would say that the amount of current going to the 10 ohm resistor, that would be equal to the value of this resistor divided by the sum, which is 12, times the current that's going into the circuit, and that's this. So this is into the 
2, so that equals 4 fifths, and that equals 8 times x. So, either way, we get the correct answer. Clearly, this is the, the simpler way to consider it. So, now we can go back up to here, and we know that when n to these two resistors in series is a current, 8 times amps. So, and that's going to be the same for each of these. So here, let's just put the 8 volts on this side. The voltage drop across this resistor right here is going to be 6 times 0.8, or that will be 4.8 volts. And that is it. That finishes off the problem. It's, it's no more complicated than that. Uh, we just wanted to get things started with a, a very simple uh, circuit. What we'll do in the uh, next video is consider another direct current circuit. It'll be a little bit more sophisticated than this. And then when that's finished, uh, we're going to present some videos on mesh current analysis and node analysis and uh, source conversions. And then after that, we'll be able to consider Norton equivalent circuits as well as Covenant equivalent circuits. So come back to John for those videos and we'll solve some more problems.